a huge showdown. There, Mark Johnson of Canada in one, but it's Hackett against Thor. Not too many people know Hackett. Hackett is the fastest man in the world on 400 meters freestyle because he's done it in a short course pool. He's faster than Ian Thorpe on 400 free. But had a lot more turns, and Thorpe wasn't in the race. Well, that is true. And a third Australian, and he could be a bit of trouble for the British guys. That is Craig Stevens. He's third at the Australian trials, but third behind Thorpe and Hackett. And I'm a tiny bit worried about him. He actually trains with Thorpe. And I'm worried because the bronze medal is up for grabs. And this is the man I think really could do it. Graham Smith of Scotland. This is his home pool, coached by Dave Kalea. And had a very good Olympic Games in 1996, getting that 1,500 metres bronze medal. And had a pretty ropey Olympics or pretty ropey trials in uh, 2000. But look at this man. So smooth, so comfortable. The greatest swimmer of the modern era. Somebody once asked him what he thinks about before a race, and he says nothing. I just try and conserve all my energy. I have to say, it didn't look like he was thinking of nothing there, but what is this guy thinking? I think he thinks he can beat Ian Thorpe. This is Grant Hackett, a world record holder in the short course pool, a 25 metre pool. This is, of course, 50 metres in this event. And what a job this poor chap's got to do. Alan, Adam Faulkner swims at Nova Centurion in Nottingham. And I hope his coach, Bill Finesse, has done a job on him because next to him is Hackett and next to that guy is Thorpe. Huge opportunity for Faulkner. What a great experience it's going to be. This guy has experience tattooed on his chest, the Olympic rings. He made the final in that 200 metres freestyle in one of the fastest races I think I've ever seen out in Sydney. A masterful 200 metres freestyle there, but he's got a huge job to do here. And completing the lineup, the Canadian record holder Rick Say, a salmon arm in British Columbia. Well, is the world record going to get broken? I think they're going to go for it. I think Hackett knows it's his best chance of getting Thorpe today. Thorpe, although I do believe he's invincible. Not many people would take this guy on a win, but Hackett is the guy to have a go. And as you said, the bronze medal is up for grabs, but there you go. World record, 340.17, games record 44. I think he'll get, get under the games record. To, to break 340 would be just su su superb, though, to see that in England. It's always great to watch this guy swim. So effortless, so strong. Just a phenomenon, really. Final of the men's 400 freestyle. Take your man. And a very good start. Look at that. A fabulous start from Thorpe. And already, after about two and a half seconds, he's about half a metre ahead of the field. Straight into that smooth, lolloping stroke. Very deceptive indeed. And going with him straight away as well is Grant Hackett. Now, I'll be very interested to see the tactics here because Hackett, closest to us of those two Australians, is the class 1500 meters freestyler and that's 60 lengths of your local pool so he's certainly got the stamina but really Thorpe has the speed he's got the world record he's won every single championship since 1999 in a world record he's only 19 years of age he's got seven world, 17 world records and in, in, in he's only 19 but look at Thorpe Thorpe's just looking at Hackett Thorpe in the all-in-one bodysuit obviously Hackett more of a 1500 swimmer won the gold medal in the 1500 meters so two Olympic champions in this race one of them it was his race 53.81 was the world record split, under world record split, 52.98, that is a tremendous first 100. It looks effortless, but they're, they're nearly half a second under the world record. <laughs> we should get excited, I think. It's quite extraordinary. Okay, Adrian and I is just sitting here going, I can't quite believe they've just gone in 52.9. That is frightening. Looking at each other, pacing at each other, and the rest of the field, well, they're way down. I can say, though, that after three lengths of the eight, Graham Smith... He's in a decent position. He's just about third, fourth, or fifth, all turning very, very evenly. Smith up in lane three, but look at the smooth stroke. And look at the water not sticking to that costume. It's amazing. This is why they wear all in one bodysuits. That water is just not getting close to it, and it's just dripping off. I mean, it's faster than what's skin. That's the point of wearing the bodysuit. The thought really looking majestic here. What's the 200? 200 world record split, 150.44. is nearly a second under the world record. This is a phenomenal race. And I can also tell you again that Graeme Smith turned in third position. 
And the Australian, the second Australian, one up from him is starting to move. But the race really all about these two guys. Thorpe at the top, Hackett at the bottom. And it looks to me like Thorpe might be starting to make a move there. He's out very quickly, but I think they were about a metre between them at the, at the turn. And Thorpe's not a short chap. And look at that fabulous turn again. I think he's taken about another half a metre off in that 50 metres. Yeah, I think that Hackett's going to struggle now. We, we, I mean, Hackett is a great 1500 swimmer, a great distance swimmer, but Thorpe has got a kick to come. Thorpe hasn't even started kicking yet. Graham Smith, just noticed there at the turn, making his move, just out of the shot. Looks like he's making a move for bronze medal, but the Australian Stevens is going with him. They just the far left top left of your picture, but Thorpe turning at 300, world record 246.39. He is now a second still under the world record. He'll start his leg kick and he'll be kicking for home. Sub 340 will be an amazing thing to see. It will, and I can still tell you that Graham Smith is in the bronze medal position. He doesn't have the best sprint though, and Craig Stevens, one up from him, is still right on his feet, so that's going to be tight. Just about to see him just going out to the shot on your right hand side there. But this, all about the world record. All about Ian Thorpe. Is he going to do it yet again? Every single championship since 1999. He's won the gold, he's won it in the world record, and he's going to do it again, I'm absolutely sure. The world record stands at 3 minutes 40.17, and this is amazing. The crowd starting to stand up. Ian Thorpe really going for it. 3.40.17. This is absolutely amazing. Is he going to make it under 3.40? Oh, he has! He's done a new world record, a new world record for four, and the bronze medal has just gone to Graham Smith. Graham Smith's got a bronze, and he is delighted, punching the wall. But the world record, it only just went. That last hundred metres really took a lot out of a second slower he was than his world record pace on that last one. But what a swimmer! This guy. Invincible. I, I think he's invincible. I think, we talked about it this morning. He's, he's up there with Tiger Woods. He's up there with, with Schumacher. He's up there with all the best sports people. He's a, he's a sporting genius. I mean, the guy is 19 years of age. That's his 18th world record. He looks effortless. That's his mum, Margaret. And the uh, Ian Thorpe's mother. Yeah. <laughs> She appears in TV adverts with him at home in Australia. So I think most of Australia know his mum as well as him. And Adrian, he's put on a stone and a half since the Olympic Games. Yeah, he's now 105 kilograms. He's a very big boy. But I mean, when you put a stone on, you don't put it on for eating fatty foods. I mean, you put it on and put muscle on. He's got stronger. He's 19. He's still growing. He's still developing. He's not even a man yet. Well, I think, again, we've seen history just miss going under the 3 minute 40 seconds. But to be quite honest, who cares? What a sensational swim. He took it out very comfortably. Hackett really almost used him as a pacemaker down mm. that first 200 metres. And then just again at the halfway stage, just as Karen Pickering and Karen Lake did, he just picked it up at the halfway stage. Yeah, I think a lot of people were, were expecting Hackett to get closer, even Hackett himself, having just broken the world short course record. But... This is a great start to the competition. Commonwealth Games, we've had an England 1-2, and we've had a world record. 